Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Brian from PC Box Studio and SharpEdit.com. So, this is now the part when it gets very useful, but very complicated, okay? Back in Chapter 2, when I referred to lay out everything on your timeline, except for the free roams, like lay out all the first-person clips like I have here, just lay them out on the timeline. So you can see we have the song down here. We have a clip, clip. Um, and that's that's that, okay? So we pretend we have clips all the way all the way laid out in the blank spots our free roams, okay? Because I do those last. Um, they're quite a lot of work to get, and um, I don't want to get the ones that I don't need, you know. So fill out everything first, and then get your free roams. But here's very important, okay? Um, in Premiere, we laid out everything, right? We have our soundtrack, we have our clip. Um, we split it up, we timed it, we time remapped it, we whatever, okay? So we, we, here are free roams going here, but how do we replace this rendered clip, this one with colors and everything, into this without screwing up our fully synced and timeline time remapped edit? There's a little trick here, okay? Make sure that your original clip, um, 2010, 10, 3, 14, let's see the clip. Um, it should be 2010, I can't, we can't really see, oh, there we go, 2010, 10, 3, 14, okay, so this is the same exact clip that we pulled, um, this is the important part, uh, let's see, okay, so, I have no idea what's going on, let me figure this out, okay, that's the one I can delete, there we go, okay, so here's a clip, um, remember, we took the clip and we dragged and dropped it onto the new comp, what this did, it importantly, made the length of the composition slash render. So the length and the render, it made it to the exact time that we needed. And this time is very important because we don't want to screw up the time. Let's say, let's say, um, as you can see, obviously, oh, blah, there's nothing going on in this clip, right? Not until here. This is when the clip happens. So we can just take this and shrink it up here, but this will screw up everything. We need this extra render because we uh, we need it to match the time in Premiere. So we want to keep it synced up between After Effects and Premiere. So, I don't know if that really makes sense, but um, we want to leave it as is. So just make sure you don't adjust the render region of your After Effects clip. And then when you come in here, you can just click on the clip and click right click and replace footage, okay? So now, it's going to replace Soldier Front 2010, 10, 3, 14 with something like this. Um, we're going to change this instead of AVI. We're going to change it to All Supported Media. Here is our rendered clip. Remember, this rendered clip is everything, not the shortened stuff, because we need everything. If everything was shortened here, this would become the beginning of the clip, and we only rendered this, causing the beginning to be off, right? The beginning meaning like instead of the whole thing being 40 seconds long, it'd only be like 10 seconds long or 20 seconds long, right? We need the full length, okay? Even if it is this much more to render, it's a lot of work to create some kind of magical video. I mean, cessation was awesome. It was great because I took the time. I took, I made the techniques so that they would work perfectly with, they would work flawlessly, right? So here it is. Here's the magic doing its work. We're going to import this clip, or we're going to replace the clip, okay? And check it out. It's going to replace the clip, and see what it did? It now knows everything is synced up. Okay, so if we undo that, um, can we undo that? Uh, I guess not. Um, that's, okay, so the clip is gone, all right? So, but anyways, what it did is, let's replace it back. I'm going to put it back. Let's see, that was recordings, fraps, movies, parody. Um, it was all supported media, this one, okay? So here we go. At frame 15 seconds, we have this. This is what it looks like at 15 seconds, okay? If we replace this, so we're going to replace with the rendered, colored, and blood. Just imagine there's blood on this one. At exactly frame 15 seconds, 
we have the same exact looking thing, okay? It's the same frame. But if this was offsetted, let's say like this, because we, we only want to render this. Oh, my computer, the candle, whatever. I can only render this. But that's what's important, okay? Of course, you can modify my technique, but this is just how I did it in UF cessation, USF cessation, okay? It just works that way. You know? It just works perfectly. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to re remap everything here. You got it already laid out, all right? So that's... So as you can see, the clip is still 40 seconds. The MOV clip is still 40 seconds, but it's a different, it's a whole different clip, okay? If it was 20 seconds, that'd mean that, let's say for example, this was the clip, right? Let's, uh, can we load this up, close it, and load it, there we go. So this was the rendered clip, right? This would be the beginning of the clip, but we need the whole thing, right? Because otherwise the clip will be, um, it will be all offset. We would have to redo everything. So now this is what we got. Pretty cool. All right. So there are all right. So there are a couple of problems I have with this clip. It looks great in my opinion, but the audio right here for audio one, it's a little too loud for the music. This is a very great tip that um I use in all my videos. We want to bring up the window audio mixer. Um, no, audio master meters. This one right here. This will bring up. I should bring up this. Let's let's try it out. I actually haven't tested this. No. It is audio mixer. Yes, it is the audio mixer. Um, let's see. All right, yeah. So it's the audio mixer. Make sure that's enabled. Double click on your sequence to bring it up. So here we go. We see these correspond properly. Audio t one corresponds to audio one, right? Audio two corresponds to audio two. Pretty self-explanatory. And the master is the master, the global, controls everything, okay? So what we want to do is take our audio two, and instead of taking the clip and going, uh, got to do this for every single clip. Oh my god, this is so much. No, don't do that. Just reset that to zero and reset this to zero. Remember, these are just keyframes. Um, you, you, we don't really care about those right now. But we want to take our clip. So audio one. We're just going to bring it down. Something like down there. You can actually do the numbers. Something like that. Um, that will just reduce all the gun firing sounds, but keep your music at a perfect level. Of course, you can boost this, and it would sound terrible. I don't know if you guys can hear. So we can't even hear the music. That just controls the, um, the track one. So we're just going to bring this back down to negative five or something like that. So... That lowers the audio on these um, on the clips only specifically. If we took the clip and pulled the audio down there, of course, this clip would still have its normal volume unless we brought that down. But we want to keep everything down on to one track. We want to keep it organized. We want to keep it simplified. We're keeping our life simple, right? Yeah. So this is that. That is how we do the replacing the of the clips. So as you can see, this layout right here was very important and the compositing and blood colors was very important because we wanted the whole duration to render. Okay? So again, you don't have to follow my techniques. I'm just explaining why this works and how easy it is. Sure it's a little more time, but it works so easy, okay? And that's pretty much it for now. Um we're gonna move on to chapter six. Anyways Thanks for the support, guys. Um, I hope to produce more of these videos for you guys. And now we're up to 1,024. So we have plus 14 more subscribers when I last announced it. So thanks a lot. Um, hope you guys subscribe and tell your friends. And take lots of notes. Because I really do try to inform you guys of what goes on between these making series. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.